here as your requested dipper. Well, well. I didn't think you'd show up, Gideon. Hmph. Like I would say no to the idea of being at any sort of game. We'll see about that. Now, I have all the chess pieces set up, and like I promised, no one else is here. So, shall we begin? Indeed. Since you're the visitor, the first move is yours. You have my thanks, but I do believe you didn't call me here just for a simple chess game. No, I didn't. I called you here for something else. And that would be? To warn you. <laughs> warn me? Oh, that's rich. And what warning is this exactly? Stay away from my sister, my uncle, and the mystery shack entirely, and I'll let bygones be bygones. What? You do the same thing to me as you did to Pacifica? Excellent work, by the way. I fear she locked herself in her room for almost three days now. How did you... I have my ways, Dipper. There's almost nothing that goes on gravity falls that I don't know about. Like... How I know about how your new girlfriend, Wendy, has been going to church every Sunday after having a religious experience, or so I'm told. Leave her out of this, Gideon. This is between you and me. Why should I? You drag me out of here, then threaten me? So it only seems fair I do the same to you. If you even come within 20 feet of her, I swear you'll regret it. <laughs> oh, this is too much. For first, you think you can scare me with a few words, and now you're begging me to stay away from that redhead like a dog. I'm not begging, Gideon. I'm warning you. News flash, you idiot. You're not scary. See, I know you can pines. You're too nice to anyone. Unlike little me, of course. Pacifica pretty much said the same thing to me. Now look where she is. True. But unlike that fool, you get all the dirt on me you want. But they'll never believe you. Because these morons depend on me to give them false hope to cling on. I know that, Gideon. And I was hoping to end this quickly. But I guess that's not happening anytime soon. So I'll move on to plan B. Plan B? You know, it astonishes me that you haven't noticed that during this whole game, I've had my left hand under the table. What? <laughs> ah! you, you shot me! You bastard! Ah! Fun fact about Stan. He doesn't lock up his guns. It was so easy to find this lovely little M9 under his pillow. Oh god, I, I can't feel my leg. Can you give me this? Can you give me this? you do this to me? I guess you don't know me that well at all. Now listen up, Gideon, and listen good. If you ever come near anyone that I love again, I will personally end you, and I promise it will be long and slow. Please go to hospital! Are you listening to me, you son of a bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me some help. No. You're going to drag yourself to the nearest hospital and tell them someone mugged you on your way home from our chess game and nothing else. <laughs> You're a monster, give a bombs. I am what you made me, Gideon. Remember that as you're dragging yourself to safety. Oh, and one more thing. 